Okay, hi there, and welcome to another of my video tutorials. My name is Ian Middleton, I am a travel and landscape photographer, and you can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Ian Middleton Photography, or on my website ianmiddletonphotography.com. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can increase the contrast in your image using the Levels tool, and in particular, obviously, looking at the histogram, and also I'll show you how you can tweak it a bit more using the curves tool. Now it sometimes happens that when you're shooting a scene, the scene itself can be lacking in contrast. This is particularly true of scenes where there is a lot of haze, a bit of mist, um, like this scene here. Uh, this is a photograph of Longship's Lighthouse at Land's End and uh, the sun was just going down and there was a lot of uh, haze in the air as you can see. Uh, there was quite a thick build up of cloud on the horizon and obviously from the spray of the sea, if you've ever been to Land's End you'll know how extremely windy it is and that wind whips up a lot of spray obviously from the sea so this this scene itself was a little bit hazy so the photograph I've taken is also lacking in contrast a touch now this is particularly true if you've um, shot the image in RAW like I have here and opened it directly in RAW without doing anything to it if you've shot in JPEG which you really shouldn't, but uh, that's just my opinion, of course. If you shot in JPEG, the camera's probably applied some um, editing to it and boosted the contrast a touch, but maybe it's still lacking, maybe not, I don't know. Um, but anyway, which, whichever way you've done it, if your image is lacking a bit of contrast, then we can use this tool to increase the contrast a bit. So the Levels tool, to access it, we go to Image, Adjustments, Levels. This brings up our histogram. If you're not too familiar with what the histogram does, essentially the histogram gives you information on what detail there is across your image. So on the left side here, it shows you the shadow detail. On the right side, it shows you the highlight detail. And on the middle, it shows you the midtone detail. You can think of this in colors. Your shadows are blacks, your highlights are whites, and your midtones are grays. And the, the histogram shows you how much information there is in each tonal value from zero which is completely black with no detail and 255 which is completely white with no detail so on each line along here it will tell you how much detail there is in that particular tonal value from 0 to 255 so you can see here it's not until here that we start to get some information and the graph starts to increase so from this uh, histogram you can see that I've got a lot of information in the midtone area and up here in particular and over here in the highlight area and it stops just about here but notice that in this section here from here onwards I have absolutely no information there's no detail so that's telling you that there are no deep dark shadows and that is very common when the image is lacking contrast so what we can do, yeah, in the Levels tool, we've got sliders. We've got a shadow slider, a highlight slider, and a mid a highlight slider, sorry, and a midtone slider. And we can adjust any of these. Okay. So the first thing to do is to take our black slider because we've got this big gap of missing information. We can actually pull this slider up to the start here and force the histogram to start here so we actually redistribute the detail across this shorter area so basically what we're doing is we're we're forcing the histogram to start here 
and you'll see that in a minute once I've done everything I'll open the histogram again and you'll see that the histogram will look completely different but already we can see the difference here if I undo the preview yeah, and do this back up already you can see that I've uh, increased the contrast a touch I can also do the same with the highlight slider if there's a slight gap there we can pull that across here we can also adjust the mid-tone here if you think sometimes when you've pulled it the blacks right right the way across it looks a bit too much we can tweak this in this case I think it's okay I'm gonna leave it here now I'm gonna okay this now if we go back and look at our histogram now how you see how from zero now it's actually spread the detail more across the entire width of the histogram and that has essentially boosted the contrast here's another image again lacking in contrast if we go up to adjustments levels now you can see on this histogram I've got a gap on the right and on the left so basically I've got information missing on the far end of the shadow detail and also on the far end of the highlight detail so in this case I can pull both sliders up to the edge here there you go again let's undo that and do that up look at the difference again ok it look at our levels and now we've got a completely different histogram. It's spread all that information across the histogram. Here's another image again. Yeah. Levels. Same situation. Pull this across. Pull this across. Uh, now in this case it's a bit much. So again I can adjust oop, wrong way I can adjust the mid-tones a bit to compensate for that if we pull that back to the middle yeah I think it's too much so let's pull it back to about there again okay that now it can sometimes happen when you do this that it adds a bit too much blue to your image so to overcome that you can simply go across to your hue saturation select the blues and just desaturate the blues a bit so yeah we can take that blue tint off if you don't like it make it look again a bit more natural okay so that's what you can do with the levels tool. You can also, if you want to tweak it a bit more, go to the curves tool. And the curves tool again shows you a histogram. And you get this line down here. And what you can do to boost overall contrast is on the shadow side, on this uh, lower third, pull it down to darken and on the upper third on the highlight side pull this up to lighten and that also gives a touch more overall contrast but the good thing about this is that you have a bit more control so you can say I want more brightness less shadows for example uh, it's just a bit more flexible in that respect same on here curves pull that down pull that up if I want to yeah it's dark in this area down here a bit more same here pull this down pull this up I can pull it right down if I really want to add some uh, impact to the image really boost those boost that contrast I can really go over the top if I want to it depends on your image you know 
Some images you might want more on contrast to make them more punchy. Some images you just want a subtle tweak of contrast. It just depends. And of course it's all down to personal taste. You do what you feel is right, what you feel looks best for your image. There's no set rule really as to as to what you need to do. Okay, so I hope this has been uh, useful and um, thanks for watching. Check out my other tutorials and if you liked this video please give it a like and if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe because there's a lot more uh, videos already up there and there's a lot more to come. Okay, so thanks for watching and uh, catch you later.